everybody, this is Matt here again with Shaving the Day. Um, it's been about two weeks since my last video, so thank you guys for being patient and uh, sticking with me. Um, yeah, my philosophy just has been, uh, for this channel, has been uh, that I don't want to feel pressure to make a video if I'm not feeling it. I don't want to just make a video t for the sake of making one. Um, I want to be feeling it, excited about it. Um, and to have a purpose in mind, and so just wasn't really feeling it these last two weeks. Was also very busy um, with my grad school semester wrapping up. Um, so now I'm on break, and uh, I'm excited to be making a new video for you guys. So thank you again for all your support as always, and uh, just for sticking with me um, even when I may go a little while between uh, videos. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be using. Sterling's Arcadia. I've got the matching splash and the matching EDT. One of my absolute favorite scents in all of wet shaving. Um, it's based on Terra de Hermes and Sterling's version of it is excellent. It's something I just started doing recently for lathering is to lather directly or load the brush directly out of the tub and then take it to the bowl. Uh, this was kind of suggested to me by uh, Joe from Elemental Hero Joe. And you know what? I, I only ever loaded the brush from the tub if I was going to face lather, but this has allowed me to really control the amount of water that I add to the soap and really get my lather on point to the consistency that I want it to be. And as you can see, there's plenty in there, plenty on the brush too. I've got this uh, turtle ship brush that this knot, I don't know who made the knot or what type it is, but I'm pretty sure it's 24 millimeter, but it's just excellent. Um, but I've really been enjoying loading from the tub and then taking it to the bowl and then just slowly adding water and getting it to a nice uh, protective slick consistency. So I've been enjoying that, um, but for the razor I'll be using today is the Gillette TV Special Super Speed, um, and I've been using it with a RK Chromium blade uh, the last couple times that I've shaved, and it's really been uh, an excellent combination and just been giving me really smooth, uh, mostly irritation-free shaves, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I think this blade is probably one of my new favorites, at least in this razor, but I'm going to go ahead and wet my face so we can get started here. All right, let's go ahead and start lathering here. Uh, this scent is just really good. Um, can't remember all the scent notes off the top of my head, but the main vibe is kind of like a smoky, bitter orange and uh, vetiver. So it's def definitely like an earthy scent. with the vetiver, but it's not like a really dirty vetiver. Um, Cause some, some types of vetiver I did not like at all. Um, and this is not one of them. And it really is balanced out well by the other notes. And it almost gives me kind of like a, like a pine type of vibe, but there is no pine note, but it is kind of like that masculine, woody, spicy type of scent. And I really enjoy it. And I think it's a scent that you can wear year round. And man, does it project too. It has a lot of projection and a lot of staying power compared to other sterling, sterling scents that I own. It probably projects the most and has the most staying power, I believe, from at least the ones that I've experienced. And even just the splash and not the EDT really projects a lot, which I love. Got some really nice ladder here. I 
think we're about set. One of these times I should make a video of uh, what I described, um, loading from the tub and then taking it to the bowl so that you guys can see my process of lathering that way. I'll try and remember to do that at some point soon. Um, the other really nice part about it is that when I'm using that sterling collapsible bowl, if I've been scooping from the tub and pressing it down into the bottom of the bowl, I was getting frustrated because I would never use all the soap. There would always be a bunch stuck at the bottom that I wouldn't that the brush wouldn't pick up. And maybe part of that is due to the nubs in the bowl. You can see those nubs at the bottom, kind of, they, they end up splaying the brush fibers out and then it makes it very difficult for the tips to really reach the bottom and pick up the soap that's pressed all the way down. So not only would I be wasting soap, but it would be very difficult to clean because I'd have to kind of take my finger and wipe out all of the uh, soap from down there and it was just kind of annoying. But I love the nubs because they really do help agitate the soap and make an excellent lather. So this process of loading from the tub and then taking it to the bowl makes cleanup way easier. And the, um, then I don't have to worry about wasting any soap either because it's all in the brush. So it's really the best of both worlds. And I'm, I don't really have the patience to uh, always leave a tub out to dry after doing that. So what I do is actually take a washcloth and I do load the brush when the brush is fairly dry as well. So it's not getting like extra soapy everywhere. Because uh, you can always add more water when you take it to the bowl. But I kind of wipe it out with a washcloth and then it's pretty much dry at that point. I also feel like when I'm loading from the tub that I'm probably using less product than scooping. Especially if not all of the soap is being used if I'm scooping from the tub. So that's another plus too. Those are just my thoughts about it. Uh, like I said, I have been enjoying this razor and blade combination and as I'm getting to know this razor more I feel like I'm not getting cut with it as much even though it does have a fairly large blade gap I don't know if there's many other blades out there that are chromium plated but these RK chromium blades are really smooth and um, I got them from Pete Hendricks of HCNC I won a giveaway on Facebook a long time ago and he threw in a 10 pack of them so I'm still going through them and they're excellent. All right, we're gonna rinse off and then we'll come back. All right, we are back for pass number two. Um, does anyone else get pimples from shaving sometimes? 
I don't, it doesn't happen to me often, but sometimes I'll get one like on my cheek that I kind of feel like it's from shaving. And maybe it's from this, keep my skin just getting some soap clogged into it or something. But it is definitely annoying to shave over. I got one right there. I gotta be careful that I don't uh, cut it open. Um, like I said, I was finishing up my grad school semester, so very nice to be on break. And I hope to take the time to do more videos if I'm feeling up to it. Um, but here in West Michigan, we've already gotten a lot of snow, like definitely like record level snowfall. And now we've got that big storm coming in. I think it's called like Winter Storm Elliot. They actually named it, so that must mean it's pretty serious. But today is Wednesday, the 21st. And starting tomorrow night, so Thursday night through Saturday, we're supposed to get about 17 inches of snow. So that's a lot. And um, yeah, like gusts of 55 miles an hour, so it's going to be pretty nasty. Um, how much snow have you guys gotten so far where you live? I'm sure, even though I've gotten a lot, I'm sure there's some of you guys that can beat those numbers. Just adding a little bit of water to the slider here. Really nice consistency there. All right, we're gonna go across the grain here. Yeah, like I said, I've used this razor and blade combination the last three or four times I've shaved, and it has provided me with very nice results. So I'm just kind of sticking with it for right now. Just gotta be careful of this razor because I have cut myself with it several times. So I'm gonna get my cheekbone pretty smooth. Not cheekbone, cheek line, I should say. Get soap on my black sweatshirt here. Um, yeah, very excited for Christmas and, um, yeah, just for having this time off to spend with family and, uh, my fiance and we're kind of finishing up the final pieces of wedding planning, which is a good feeling and looking forward to 2023. Um, do you guys have any 
Christmas traditions that you'd care to share in the comments? Would love to hear about them. Been getting much better shaves under my nose lately. Um, there's normally some stragglers like right here and here that I struggle to get, but then I, when I pick my nose up, kind of go across the grain like that, it's been very effective at helping me get those and have a good smooth shave up there. All right, we're gonna rinse off one more time. All right, let's do our final lathering here. Still tons left in the bowl. Tons. We easily get another couple passes out of it. Do a light coating for this last pass. All right. Just gonna try and skim the cheeks here to get that smooth against the grain feeling. Very nice. Always have to go a couple extra times by the ear just to make sure I get that smooth. There we go. Being gentle because I can tell I got some irritation on that side. Yep, I cut myself up there when I stretched the skin. Like I said, I gotta be careful with this razor and that happens sometimes. My skin may have been a little irritated from the last shave, too. Alright, I'm going to call that pretty good. I'm going to rinse off and then we'll do the post-shave routine. Alright, I just did a warm and cold water rinse. That cold water rinse always gives you good feedback on your shave. It's kind of just like a loom, you know? If you can kind of feel it sting, it's not going to feel good with the loom. But I will not be using the loom today. I'll be using witch hazel. So not, not a perfect shave by any means. Got a few little nicks and weepers. Especially right there. Kind of cut that open a little bit. Um, but I'm hoping with some good care that it will help everything. And those little cuts over here kind of seem to seal up already, which is nice. A little bit more witch hazel here. All right. I'm gonna throw on some of this power stick aftershave balm. Nice thick balm, which is good for the winter. For that protection against the cold air. Got 
very lightly scented so it doesn't interfere with anything. Really good cheap balm option that I just have on hand and it seems to be lasting me forever. So I'm definitely a fan. Let's see, it's got aloe and vitamin E. Uh, I wonder if it has peppermint in it. Yes, it does. It has peppermint oil, sweet almond oil. Because it does, the fragrance that it does have is just slightly minty. But it doesn't interfere with anything because it, it only lasts a few minutes at the most. All right, now we're going to throw on some of this matching Arcadia Splash. If I can get it open. I screwed that on too tight. Matching Splash. And get ready to feel the burn. Not too bad. Expected worse. Man, that smells good though. I haven't used that in a, quite a while, so I'm glad to be using it again. Definitely an underrated sterling scent. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend it. I'm going to throw on some of this uh, EDT. Very nice. Very nice finish to the shave. Very close shave. A little bit of irritation. Doesn't bother me. It'll go away soon. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Glad to be. I'm glad to be back making one. I hope to make more soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for all the support and for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.